All right, West Coast, uh, as you know, Feast BC is underway, and one of the people that have made their way out here to make it such a special event, uh, Iron Chef Rob Feeney out here. And is this the first time you've had a chance to sit down since you uh, rolled into town? I know you've been fishing and cooking just about everywhere. No, I've had, I've had a little bit. Of, I've been here since Monday, and, and uh, I've had, a, you know, obviously Monday had a little bit of time to chill. But, uh, no, it's been pretty, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, it's kind of strange because, uh, w you know, with Cactus and how busy we are with three openings and, 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 and such, uh, this is kind of, uh, even though it's busy, it's kind of a nice break. Yeah. Yeah, it's never, uh, it doesn't feel like work when you're out here doing no. something you love, for sure. Well, it never is. <laughs> it never is. And it's true. It's like, it's, it's, like I said, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, have you... One of the things that I've been asking uh, previous people I've interviewed throughout this event is uh, about knowledge about the the scene out here that's been developing. Uh, it's been I've lived here for about four years, and it's been interesting to see it grow into something like this. Have you? Did you know much about what was going on out here food wise? Have you been out here frequently? Or? No, I've been like I mean I've always been very familiar with here, and a big part of the reason is you know I know Charles McDermott very well from here at the Wiccan and Inishin, and and uh, you know having known <coughs> having known Charles and knowing that. Uh, uh, and my experiences out here in the past, I filmed a show here in 1998, mm -hmm. uh, my old show, New Classics, so I did a Christmas special here. So pretty much uh, very familiar with a lot of the people there. I've been very familiar with the product. Um, and one of the things I've always been envious, to, envious about is uh, that they're able to sort of get things uh, that day to, you know, and the sort of boat-to-table thing that I think they're trying to focus on at Feast is, for me, one of the things I really love about Tofino. Yeah, the culinary yield in that whole moment yeah. movement is just such a great thing. Yeah. And uh, this is how I've put it before: local is the new imported, as far as what's you know seen as the good way to go, maybe mm -hmm. in, in the culinary world. Mm -hmm. Is that how how it's kind of changed? Or? Well, I mean, I, you know, I've, I'm I'm lucky. I mean, when I say lucky, I mean I'm born and raised in in, in Vancouver, but I I did a lot of my formal training in Europe, and uh, um, whether it's Europe, whether it's Japan, whether it's uh, um, um, uh, Asia, Southeast Asia, this has all been part of the repertoire of, you know, Canada's a very young country, and I think that <clears throat> we're obviously, in, from a culinary standpoint, we really, I mean, I look at back down back to 1984 when Bruno Marty won, you know, the World Culinary Championships, mm -hmm. and I mean, Bruno kind of, in a way, sort of put Canada on the map, uh, started to, from a culinary scene, and he's a lot, he's had a lot of follow, you know, a lot of people uh, that have followed him, that have worked for him, and it's all, all about local, not so much local and, and sustainable, which is what we're into now, but mm -hmm. about local. And uh, that's something that, that is big in Europe. You go to any, you know, the restaurants I worked at in Europe, everything you're using is from the area. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I think is really important, and it's happening more and more, not just from a restaurant standpoint, but I think how people shop as well. Well, so many of the best dishes and wines and what have a regional name, they are, mm -hmm. their name is just their that's place, right. and it, it seems to make sense in that sense. Yeah, it's, and, and, well, it's, it's, I think it's great. I mean, when you're here, I think it's just part of, when you're in Tofino, I think it's part of what people are expecting, whether it's the halibut, whether it's the salmon, mm -hmm. whether it's the prawns, whether it's the crab. You know, I think people, when they go out, this is what, and it's, and it's prepared very simply, and I think that's one of the greatest things. But, you know, from a, from a chef standpoint, I'd love to see, and not just in Tofino, but across this country, I think a lot of chefs are thinking about local. And, uh, you know, but I'm obviously, you know, uh, from the West Coast, so I'm a little proud of what we do yeah. here. And, uh, but, you know, I've, I'm, I'm also a proud Canadian, so I mean, I've always really, I've always focused on Canadian product from across the country, but one of the great things about being out here is that, you know, um, we have such great things to work with. Yeah, a lot of great products right here. And this is actually something, you've been out here with Bob Azumi doing a little shooting yep. and whatnot with him. Who's more important in making the meal great, the person who provides the the tools or the person who turns it into the meal on the day? I've always, my, you know what, to be honest with you, I've always believed that, um, the product is, you know, simplicity is much more difficult to achieve than compli complicated cuisine, and that comes from the product. Mm -hmm. So I've always felt that, and, you know, some of the greatest chefs in the world have always believed that the product is the focus. So I would have to say the purveyor is probably your most important, you know, we're kind of a tool to sort of taking that and, and presenting it to the guest, but it, but essentially for me it's the, it's the people that are producing the product for me that are the most important. All right. And as... Uh well, I was going to say, how much of a hassle was it to change all of your stuff from saying Canada's only Iron Chef to Canada's first Iron Chef? Was that awkward? No, you, no it wasn't. It, it, actually, you know what, to be honest, I, that's another part of my sort of thing about being proud to be Canadian is that, you know, obviously when I went against Morimoto, it was a, a great victory. And I mean, it was, it, it was shocking. But, uh, you know, I think that it's like, you know, right now, you know, in the, in the playoffs, I mean, the Canucks are, are in it, so obviously. Mm -hmm. But if it was any other Canadian team, I'd be rooting You'd for be them. You'd be there, too. And I think the same thing with Iron Chef America is that this was another Canadian. I think that 
you know, uh, he's a great chef. And uh, he, I, I watched the program he was on, and I was really glad he won. But I also saw the other Canadian chefs that mm-hmm. perform, and it was, I think that this is just a cool thing that, you know, now it's, for me, it's not about whether I was first or second yeah. or I won. Now we've got two Canadian chefs that, uh, and especially he beat Bobby Flay, which I was really happy about. <laughs> it's about being part of the growth That's of an right. entire scene, right? Yeah. All right. Well, I won't keep you too long. You're you're making me dinner, and I don't want to keep you away from that. But uh, one other thing, we got a lot of people who travel across Canada and internationally to come here because of the culinary scene and because of the opportunities and some of the great chefs they can learn under. Is there a little bit of advice that you would like to offer somebody who's getting into it as a passion, uh, as more than just a job? No. You know what? I think that this is. We, we, you know, in terms of what we're trying to promote here, I think that you know what. I think the most important ingredient in cooking is love. So you got to love to do it. If you don't love to, I mean, I, you know, there's people that I've met over the years, and I mean, I, I've met some extremely passionate people, so, uh, and we talk about the purveyors. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, purveyors are, you know, people that, you know, whether it's a fisherman, whether it's someone that's crab fishing, they're very passionate about that, so I mean, you have to have the same passion, I think, when you cook. So as long as you love it, that's the most important thing. Cool. Well, thanks for your time, and All we'll right. see you tomorrow at the, uh, at the crab dock, and you I bet. look forward to uh, eating a bunch more of your food. Oh, yeah, crab. Yeah, thanks. Iron for- chef roll. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Thanks for your time. All right, thanks.